WA making their debut in the LFC. Gillum, the Zombie North, representing them tonight. This guy is a real animal in the gym, I've been told. A true gym rat team, the type of guy who trains and pushes himself to the limit every day, and that's going to be key, I believe, to win this fight. Is that an advantage coming in to a high-profile matchup like this? First guy in the gym, last guy out. He'd even stay there to clean the max if it meant he was in there longer. He really is a gym monkey in there all the time. The more you're in it, the more you can win it. Well, they've called him the zombie because you can't put him away. And he looks to try to make a successful debut in the LFC. It's the zombie in the ring. Simon Grutum, the Frontline Academy fighter, walks in, chin down. I know this guy is also another fighter you rate very highly due to the training and coaching, and most importantly, support that that gives a young fighter in their development game. So, really tonight, a showcase for the talent that happens behind the scenes, the fight before the fight, if you will. And that's something that Frontline Academy really has down to a science. The preparation behind the Frontline Academy is second to none. They absolutely cross all the DTs and dot all the I's, and they go further. They've got such an extensive program for their psychological build-up, it's brilliant. You see Grom coming here, it's like he's just gonna go and train in his front room. Well, we're gonna have to see exactly what the game plan is. No one really knows with this guy. He's coming under the radar out of a high-profile camp who's known for churning out very well-rounded individuals. So, will he keep it standing or will they clash on the canvas? We're gonna find out in just a moment. Chris Huxter calling it here with Team Hat. It's gonna be North, the zombie, otherwise known as, taking on Simon Grotem, the frontline fighter, getting the final checks from the gentleman, Daniel Moby Haiti there. Shout out to one of the very best referees in the UK. And he goes into the LFC ring. Uh, The frontline fighter, the 27-year-old Simon Grotem, was the second to enter the ring. But we know that Nort, the zombie, believes he'll be the last one standing tonight in this lightweight contest. It's going down right now. Sam the Man, immediate in charge. Chris Hookster with Dean Manhattan calling it live. Here we go, Dean. What was intense stare down there. He won't take his eyes off his man as they touch gloves and get ready to bang. The zombie hands up, chin down as well. Both fighters bouncing and engaging. Southpaw, Fort North in that bladed stance. 
Will he open up for the kicks or the left cross? Got to watch out for the right hand of the frontline fighter, that being public enemy number one of a southpaw fighter, Dean. You have to make sure you're circling to the correct side. You can't circle into that power hand, Chris. Fast jab from North. Left comes behind it. Doesn't find its mark. North testing the water here. Shakes off that kick. Stance swap from the zombie, returns to Southpaw, gets backed off. And a little bit of a feeling out process thus far, Dean. Nort sensing his opponent has perhaps a larger reach. Even some of those kicks, he can't take too many of those. He really needs to find a way in here. And I believe it would be from some head movement there. Oh, hey, he could have the triangle here, Chris. He's got an arm in, I believe. But he's finished with, he can finish it from this position. And looking for the sub is the zombie. Armin guillotine attempt. He's sitting up into it, Dean. That's the correct way to finish that choke, but it looks like there's some space for his opponent. The attempt might pop out there. Nort's shoulder just slipped out of that position. With the arm in, it makes it a bit more difficult to cinch up that guillotine. Nort here, working the active guard. If we're going for the triangle there. Grutum escapes and now looks for the leg drag. Bang! All the way around into side control. Hitting Keza beautifully to lock down that position. Exceptional athleticism on display, Dean. Rotom uses a good utilization of his hips there. Pulling his knees up close to the body of his opponent in Nort to stop the space, Chris. Because Nort wants to create some space, get his knee in there. Coming over for the mount there. Shoulder pressure also in that cross face position. Less than a minute to go. Plenty of time to work with still in regulation play. And that brutal shoulder pressure, Dean, can become problematic, but North's done a good job of circumnavigating his chin out. That shoulder pressure, the shoulder of death, that you often hear it calling the crap in the community. Wow, athleticism showed by North there. That shoulder pressure is paramount, like you said, Chris. It forces positions, but North, not in trouble at this anymore. He's in the guard, trying to work these shots here to the body, to the head, really active. And North continues to impress in the scrambles. Looking for the triangle, the frontline fighter trying to stuff that right arm. Controlling by the elbow, Dean, that allows a good leverage. He's trying to sneak that left knee out there to cinch up the triangle. But Nort senses it, keeps his distance. Rodham comes up for this double leg. Has he got it? Man. Wow, wow. that was close. An absolutely wild affair. Like two fireflies all over the ring, Dean. It was scrambles and spades. Sam the man to meet in charge, the third man in the ring tonight. We are back at it here at LFC 6 tonight at the Casino Rooms in Rochester, Kent. Termination in North's eyes there. Wonder if he's trying to get in for this shot. Trying to set up the shoot here. It'll be a bit difficult with the range of fight. He needs to find a way in because he needs to set up punches and kicks like that and then shoot off the front foot. And the frontline fighter showing the hands, but finishing with the legs, but then goes all the way and commits with the punches. Nice long jab. I like how he punched short and kicked long, then punched long. Mixing things up very nicely is the lightweight Simon Grutem. Well, initiates a takedown, gets it beautifully there. Lifted Nort off the floor. Applause from the crowd. It's so refreshing to see the crowd knowing what's actually going on in this grappling game. Piece. And Neon Belly forces the turtle. Nort protecting his neck. Gorham doing a great job of punching Nort's head there to, to keep his mind off what's actually going on. He was actually able to stick those hooks in, Chris, while Nort was defending from those punches. Striking to create space for sure. And now looking to cinch up that rear naked that looks choke, tight. Dean. That looks really tight. Oh, there's a tap, Nort, by rear naked choke. Wow, Gorham's positional on the back. Cinched it up beautifully there. Gets the rear naked choke position and it's all over. And he used his mixed martial arts acumen to open up space team, sneak those hooks in like a thief in the night, and then secure the choke 
scissoring beautifully with that figure four. That was all she wrote. Choking one minute, 22 seconds of round two. 